Hey guys, are you ready to learn all about movie clips in stick notes? Today I'm going to give you some awesome tips on how to use them in your projects. So keep watching till the end to learn everything you need to know. Now you might be wondering, what is a movie clip? Well, you know about GIFs, right? Movie clips are kinda like that. Stick notes comes with a bunch of default movie clips and you can also download more from the website. So let's dive in and learn how to make the most out of them. But first, why should you use movie clips instead of stick figures? Let me show you an example. If you try to animate a scene only using stick figures, you have to add each stick figure in a new frame and also need to delete the previous one. You have to repeat this process repeatedly. Instead of stick figures, you can use movie clips for certain elements. Just see how much easier it is. You just need to add it once and it animates itself. Just need to add new frames. It's a whole lot of better than animating each stick figure one by one, right? Now let me show you how to create your own movie clips. First, press this button to enter the movie clip workspace. Let's start by making the background grayish so it's easier to see. All you need to do is import your stick figures, animate it as you want, and finally save the movie clip. And that's it. Now you can use your movie clips in any of your projects. If you have a detailed background, you can make a movie clip of it. This will allow you to organize your background nodes in a single element. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can make your background animated too, which will make your animations extra cool. The most common use of movie clips is to animate effects. You can take an effect and just make a movie clip of it. For example, I made this energy ball effect in this scene. Sometimes it's hard to animate certain scenes where a lot of stuff is going on. That's where movie clips come in handy. For example, in this animation, I tried to make a 3D effect. It would be very hard if I tried to animate this traditionally. So I made two movie clips and added some camera angle to complete this animation. So you can use something like that to create your special scenes. To animate the facial expressions, first take all the stick figures and turn them into a movie clip. Then add the movie clip as a single frame into your project. Now you can animate facial expressions by changing the current frame section inside the movie clips tools. You can also use movie clips to keep things organized. It's sometimes annoying to find the stick figure you need while scrolling in the list and you can't even preview it. To tackle this problem, you can organize your stick figures inside a separate movie clip. Then you can add that movie clip to your project and break it when you need the stick figures. Well, that's all for today's lesson on movie clips and stick notes. I hope you find it helpful and that you can use this powerful feature to take your animations to the next level. Remember, using movie clips can save your time and make your work more organized and efficient. So don't hesitate to give it a try and experiment with it your own projects. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for more tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.